So that's going to be coming here later uh, next year. Next year. Working with a guy that does wrapping for Ashley's car. So look forward to that. It's, it's going to be a while, but we're doing a collab. So that'll be cool. Getting getting the whole thing wrapped. Anyways, uh, did you did you see it? I got a nice tip for it. Finished it off. Oh, I also coated it back wherever uh, I welded it and everything and that, that looks really nice really nice perfect fitment centered not sticking out too far it looks factory anyways I want to finish mounting these tires up only downside is these have tire pressure sensors in them and I had when you do these you typically replace the valve stem because when you take them out of these tires, it, they're going to get damaged. So I'm not even going to take them out of the original tires. I'm just going to take the sensor off and we have to put the valves in these. But they're not here and they're not going to be here till midweek. So I'm going to go ahead and mount the tires and then we'll break them down later to put the sensors in them. So I got to break these down. I already got one broken down to take the sensor out. But there's also no sense and balancing them right now because once you put the sensor in it that changes the balance of the tire so as you can see one broke down you got to get a little here's what i use i'll show you what i use to get these off this little doodad right here now i i it might be an allen key i don't know but i gotta hook air back up to this let's get all these wheels changed out also so these are the spacer rings that came with the wheels that I got. Now, th this is a very large offset, okay? So, I looked through my spacer rings that I had, and I found one that fits perfectly to the hub of this car, which is 50, what is 50, 57 point something to a 60 something. And it fits inside these <laughs> rings. Perfect. So now it fits the hub, fits the wheel. This will work, okay? You can put two hub-centric rings together like this. That'll be fine. It's going to center the hub and uh, take the load off of your lugs. So that's what we're going with. So a lot of parts did come in. I'm no stranger to these bumpers. These come all folded up in a box. Typically, they unfold pretty good. This one is an exception. They had this thing so folded up that it busted the center support, which I don't know if I need it or if I can cut it out yet. I gotta get this bumper off and get the grill off. If I need it, I might have to hot staple that back together, but also crack this section around the grill here contacted the seller on ebay two days ago because that's what it says to contact them if there's any issue they have not responded so i left them some feedback wasn't good but i left them some but all in all i did come back to say i'm just gonna have to do some body work I, like i don't know what happened here that put this crease in it and then this was so folded up on both sides that this is dented in and I, it's not gonna look good if i don't do something with it it looks like there's a crease right here too as well oh look at me face you can see that slight crease in the center a slight crease on this side too right there but all in all I, I, it's usable so i'll deal with it still a little deformed down here too as you can see not only are we putting the wheels and tires on right now Tearing this thing apart, getting we're gonna get the front end off of this thing, get these lights out, pull the damage out, and then try to fit up our new pieces because we went we need to get a good fitment so I can get this hood and this fender straightened out on the next episode. So another part came in. I'm gonna throw that on real quick because it only goes on with two-sided tape, so this should be fairly easy. I'm gonna fit it up, make sure I have it where I want it, and then we're gonna throw it on.
brought to you by your local pill Nazi. <laughs> okay, here's your bottle. Do you want one or two? <laughs> one. One. You do you good with two sometimes. Nope. Alright. None on the floor. I'm trying not to. Can't give you any promises. This is the one that makes you poop. Wait a minute. I don't like that <laughs> one. I don't like that one. Swallow it! How soon am I going to poop? Come on. This is not what makes you poop. Wait! It's, wait! Come wait, on! Why are we doing poop? Guys, we got to kill off the bacteria in your guts. Alright, poop three times a day. Now you're doing nothing. Just swallow. Down the hatch. Just don't ask questions. Almost there. I think it's working already. One more. I'm gonna have to take a poop break. <laughs> You're good. All done. Thanks. Enjoy your evening. Yep. That looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Okay, the tire shine kind of adds the effect of it making look look uh, a lot nicer than it is. But honestly, those wheels fit this car perfect. The offset, everything about those wheels, I would run those. They're very lightweight on top of that. These wheels are lighter than the steel wheels that I took off this. So, very nice. Uh, that was a heck of a deal. The wing fits really good. It is just held on with two-sided tape. I did prep the whole area and everything. Only thing I did not like about this wing is uh, it came with an adhesion promoter. And both of those, they're like wipes. Both of them were completely dried out. So that, that was like no good. I, I wiped them down with alcohol, you know, kind of prepped them that way. And then stuck the two-sided tape to them. Hopefully it sticks good. I mean, it... It's on there solid. You know what I mean? Now I just cut that all dirty. But it is real carbon fiber. It's just hollow. And they give you a strip to run the bottom side and then a bigger strip to run the top side. And you just stick it on there. I like it. I do like that. I would run that if I had one. The exhaust, I'd run that as well because that looks awesome. And it was very simple to do and cheap. So that's the, the thing on this. We're going cheap. I also got something else for the front bumper, but it hasn't made it here yet. So, and it was very cheap. It was 30 bucks. So we'll update the, that. We're also putting fog lights in the front bumper and that came and it comes with a wiring harness and a button. And I'm pretty sure there's probably a slot for the button. Yes, there's empty slots down there. I love a good slot. <laughs> yeah. The button will go in one of those slots down there. We'll have to run the wires in and everything, but that'll be, you know, pretty good. I don't think this door's shut. It was shut. Another thing I found out, every one of these doors clunks, and I might get into it. Um, it's separated from, there's a support inside this door. And uh, this one's not as bad as the passenger side. But what they do is they glue this door skin to a support on the inside. It came loose on all these doors, so listen to them. This one doesn't sound near as bad as the passenger sides. Now, it's not a big deal, but it does make this car sound very cheap. <laughs> very cheap. The driver's door does not have that problem. You can see the door vibrate down here when I do that. And if I push in on it, that's... The, the separation between the support and the outer door skin. There's about an eighth of an inch there, and I can push in on it, and I can feel that. So, I think I might take the door skins off on these, and I have foam tape 
and put some foam tape in there. I don't think I'm going to re-glue them, but at least if I put the foam tape in there, these doors will not sound like that. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Anyways, now I, I took the lift arms off and everything was ready to roll it back to work on the body damage. And then I was like, wait, I got to take everything off. So we're going to put this thing up, get the whole front end off. Then we're going to put it down, back it up, and I'm going to pull the damage out of the front of this with my lift posts. This is my frame machine right here. That's how we do it here on Unwreck. <laughs> yeah. All right, so thankfully I was going to order this mount because I figured it was broken, but the more I looked at it, it was like, looks like all the tabs on the headlight broke off. And that's exactly what happened. This whole bumper support is, is fine. There is a small bit of damage here, and I knew that. I saw that on, uh, actually, when I had it apart. Right here is the damage. You can see it bent this end, curled this in, and... It, it's not nice. We're going to straighten this out today. So the air box is bolted to a bracket right here, which looks like it didn't get damaged. But the air box is about where it's supposed to sit. Whenever I pull this, that bracket's going to come forward. And I should, in a sense, be able to line that up with this bolt hole right here. So that's what we're going to go off of for alignment. I also have this side to look at, which I still need to get the headlight out yet but I can look at this side for, for reference. But we're gonna try our best to do that. And we're gonna leave the fender bolted on because I am gonna use this fender and I think it will shape as I pull it. If all else fails, it's not gonna shape and it's gonna go bad and I'm gonna have to buy another fender. But as of right now, it, it, we're pretty good. I already bent this, well this fender was a respray because I can see the orange peel on it. You can see there's some dry spray the door's not, but this fender's a respray. And I, somebody did did not do very good on it. You can kind of see it. I, but they also, what they did was uh, this uh, line, this is where they mask it to blend it. They mask this line. They did, this is original paint up here. And right here's their mask line where the, the um, pinstripe was but we're actually getting rid of the pinstripe so I'll get to sand that down and try to re-clear it but we'll see how that goes. I have to get rid of this strip one here it's just two side tape on here and I bet you that they mask that was part of their mask line or their blend line I bet you they left that one there and sprayed it it's actually in two pieces because it's cracked right here but I can't tell glad they got back to me about this broken bumper now that I get to look at the back of this one I can see that they utilize that and that's not something that you cut out so I am gonna have to repair that that's not a big deal being that it's covered up and it's behind the grill but still would have been nice if they could have did something about it maybe sent me a different bumper that wasn't as deformed as this but we're gonna work with it for now see how this turns out the thing I did get for the front bumper, I believe, is going to fix this deformity. If you know what I'm talking about. So, we'll, we'll see.
I should thank you for that. I'm on. fit not real happy with the fitment it's the bumper mainly the bumper doesn't fit for crap look at the gap here it doesn't want to stay in and it's mainly the bumper's fault uh, but yeah there's that um so you get over on this side and it's doing the same thing There's really nothing I can do about that. Unless I get another bumper. And then the fender. I mean, I got her shape pretty decent. But look at this. Look at how this wants to sag. That mount doesn't want to stay up. And the bumper's tight, so it's pulling down on it. That's horrible. Well, let's at least see how the hood fits. I did pull on it some. Eh, still not the best. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe I'm being more particular than I should be. I don't know. It's not bad. So, look, what I came to is, I think, now, I probably, you know, thought I put all, I, I put a whole bunch of work into this fender, okay? And you're probably like, why Why now? I, I'm thinking, I looked them up, and I think I'm just going to get another Fender. They're honestly, they're like cheap. They're like 60 bucks. Uh, it has the supports in here bent really good. And it actually cracked it right here. And it's really floppy. And it doesn't matter what I do. I can't seem to get that to stay in. It pops out. And then I ended up bending it right here because I was trying to get it to shape because it's not to shape and I think honestly to help me with everything because I think that a headlight might need to come forward a little bit so I think there's still more pulling that needs to be done um, and I think the bumper will fit a little bit better right now I mean it's pretty good I, I gotta shape this hood some but I think getting a new fender is gonna be the smart thing to do now I'm not gonna blend onto the door so we're trying to save some money here, so hopefully the color is close. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I think that's our smart choice at this point.
All right, so I've got it narrowed down to it's just this bumper, and that's why I can't get this hood to fit perfect. I do need to do some body work here on the front corner, but my line on the headlight here, the gap, is really good. It's just this bumper. I don't know if I can heat that and push that in, but it also has a gap around the, the headlight here. And I think it's supposed to be tucked in, but that's just the way it's going to fit. It just does not want to go in. This bumper would not recommend. I did order a fender. It, it ended up being about a hundred bucks with shipping and everything. So still not bad. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna paint it off of the car. The only thing I'm gonna paint on the car is gonna be the hood. Uh, the bumper will be off and the fender will be off. So uh, that's, yeah. And then the hood, we're only gonna paint this section and then we'll re-clear the whole thing. But yeah, this is the only section of the hood that's gonna get painted. So it'll kind of be blended. Honestly, I probably should paint the whole, I'll probably paint this whole side here. That's a Kappa bumper. If you're gonna get one, that's what you should be getting. Not these cheap eBay ones I got, like this. I think that's enough for one episode. We gotta keep it interesting. Next episode, we'll get into that. So if you like this video, smash that like button, consider subscribing. Hit that dislike button if your mom wished that I would cram some more into each episode. And we'll see you on the next episode of Alright. Children are ready for bed. Oh, he's so squinty eyed. Are you see me? Are you see me? This is my wife's blanket every night. Both of these. Plus Stewie. She's not here yet. He'll be here. I just tramped on poor boy's tail. Come here. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was dark. I didn't see you. I'm so sorry. Will he let out a shriek? I'm sorry, son. Is your tail okay? You good? Yeah, he's good. I must have scared the crap out of her because she's standing up. <laughs> you posing for the camera? You want to get your shots in? You want to say bye bye? Hmm? Bye-bye for the camera.